All right, so this is going to be an interesting one because in this video, we are going to compare the two most popular Gutenberg page builder plugins, Spectra versus Cadence Blocks. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. Now, I'll try to keep this video as raw as possible, and I'm not going to put up any technical differences between these two plugins because both of these plugins are really powerful in itself and you can create any kind of website using any one of them. So it's not like Cadence is good or Spectra is good or other way around. Both of them are really powerful. It's just that what I have experienced using both of these plugins, I would like to share in this video. But make sure you use the comment section below and do let me know which plugin you are using on your WordPress website. Are you using Cadence Blocks or Spectra plugin? I would love to hear your thoughts on this. So with that out of the way, let's start the comparison of Spectra versus Cadence Blocks. Today's video is brought to you by Breakdance, the modern visual website builder for WordPress. It's easy for beginners to learn and powerful enough for the most advanced professionals. Breakdance is loaded with features, including a premium pre-made template library, a robust form builder, AI content writing capabilities, a versatile pop-up builder, and seamless WooCommerce integration. Whether you are just starting your WordPress journey or you are a seasoned pro looking for a better builder for your agency, now is the perfect time to build better websites with Breakdance. Try today and experience the breakdance difference. Now for those who love to read, I have a complete blog post here that you can go through. And this blog post will be our notes for this video. So if you want to read everything about this comparison, you can go ahead and visit the link in the video description below. All right, so to start this comparison, we have created a WordPress setup. And here, if I go in the plugin section, here we can see we have Cadence Blocks and Spectra plugin already installed. So let's go ahead with that. Now here comes the point number one for this comparison. When we install Cadence Blocks, we get this option here for Cadence settings and all the other stuff. And for Spectra, we have option of Spectra right here in the dashboard. Now if you click on the Cadence Blocks, this is their landing page, perfectly fine. Now, if I go in settings, here I can see the cadence blocks listed here and we have row layout, form, advanced gallery and all the other Gutenberg blocks that are required to create any kind of WordPress website. But the problem is that there is no option to turn any of these blocks off. For example, if I don't want to use testimonials on my website, there is no option I can turn it off. Now, technically what's happening here is that whenever you create a page, it's only going to load the blocks that you are actually using on that particular page. The page is not going to get overloaded with all the scripts and various other blocks, which is good in one sense, but it's going to create another problem, which I personally feel inconvenient, which I will mention in just a few minutes. But let's see what we get when we install Spectra. So here is an option for Spectra. And now if you click on the dashboard, this is the landing page for the plugin. And if I go in the blocks here, I have pro blocks on the top. And below that, we have all the other blocks that we can use to create our website. And we see that we have an option to turn on or off any block. Let's say I don't want to use Google Maps on my website, so I can turn off this block. If I don't want to use model, I can turn off this one as well. So it's just an additional control in your hands that you can turn off all the blocks that you are not using. Now, how this is going to help you? Let me show you that. Now, let's say you are on a page. Let's create a new one. Now, I'm sure most of you are not going to install both of these plugins, but there could be a high chance that you are going to install Spectra or Cadence block along with any Gutenberg block to add some extra functionality. So what happened here is that let's say I want to add an image on this page. So I'll type in image and here I can see an image block here, an image advanced block here and another image block which is from Cadence. Now, as a normal user, if I'm using both of these plugins, it's easy to get confused which one I'm going to use. In the same way, let's say I want to add table of content. So again, I see table of content from Spectra and table of content from Cadence Blocks. Now, as I mentioned before, not everyone is going to use both of these plugins, but this can actually create a problem if you are using any other Gutenberg block along with Spectra or Cadence. 
And that reminds me a real case scenario. Let's say you are using rank math plugin and they also have a table of content block. So it's easy to get confused between table of content from cadence or are you going to use a table of content from rank math? So that's why I personally feel that you should have an ability to turn on and off these blocks, no matter how they are loading in the front end. All right, so let's talk about the point number two in this comparison, and that is compatibility with different themes. Now, if you go in Spectra and then click on settings, here I have an option for default content width. Right now it is set to 1340 pixel and I can go ahead and change it depending upon what my theme structure is. So no matter what theme you are using, using this option you can customize the container blocks default content width. So this makes Spectra plugin compatible with almost any theme. But on the other hand, if we go in cadence and let's navigate to settings. Here in the row layout, I do not see any option of customization. Now the next comparison is how the different settings panel look for Spectra and Cadence. So here we have a sample page. We have added icon list from Cadence on this part and we have icon list from Spectra plugin. So if I click on the row layout using Cadence on the right hand side, we can see all the settings. Now here we have an option to change the number of columns. We have the row gutter where we can set to none, small medium or long or if we click on this custom size icon then we can enter pixel or maybe we can change that as well if you want to add an em or rem so you can do that from here now if you click on the container for spectra this is how the setting panel look once again i can resize the container width from here or you can do that from the main settings panel now for this setting panel i personally prefer the look and feel of spectra plugin again it's coming from my personal experience and my preferences that i feel like the setting panel of spectra plugin is much more organized and the settings panel of cadence block is way too spread out and things looks way too broad but again, not a big deal, but it's just what I feel while using both of these plugins. Now, this setting panel brings me to the next comparison point, and that is working on active tab. Now, let me show you what I mean. So let's say I'm on this row layout and I go to style and let's say I go ahead and add a background color to it. Maybe this yellow one. Now, if I go in this list icon, I came back on the general tab. So if I need to do any styling on this listing item, I again need to go to style and then I need to do all the styling. Let's say for this icon, I choose purple. And then if I click on item two, I again jump back to the general tab. If I need to do any styling, I again need to go to style and then do whatever styling I want. Now let's see how it works in Spectra plugin. So I click on the container from Spectra I go to style tab and then I just go ahead and select the background color. Let's go with all or yellow again here as well. And now if I click on this item, if you notice, I am still on my style tab. So I can again go ahead and change the color icon or any styling related to icon or spacing, but I am in the styling tab only. So for the label, I have an option to change the color to red. And now if I click on any other item, I'm still on the styling tab and now I can just continue doing all the styling that I wish to do. So I really like this option in Spectra. If I'm working on a block on a particular style option, it always continue to stay there until and unless I choose to go back on general tab or on the advanced tab. But in Cadence, I every time need to go back to styling to do any customization. So for the next comparison point, I need to show you the front end of the website. But let me show you what we are looking at right now. So here again, we have a row layout from Cadence. And under that, I have added um, advanced heading from Cadence. And after that, again, we have a Spectra container. And I have added a heading block from Spectra. And let me just go ahead and get rid of this extra paragraph. Now for both of these headings, I have selected paragraph so that we have the same kind of styling. Now let me just go ahead and save this page. 
and let's reload in front end and now on the front end let me just go ahead and click on inspect for our cadence text first so if you take a look at the html here we can see this is the main container for the wordpress theme structure and from here the cadence block starts so this one is for our row layout and under that we have our column layout and after that we have cadence column again and then we again have a div and under that we have our paragraph which is coming from cadence advanced heading so here we have one two three four and then on the fifth one we land on our actual paragraph so this is how the html structure of cadence blocks look now let me show you how it works with spectra so we scroll down a little bit more and here is the block from spectra so let's open this let's open this one again and here we have our paragraph text so if we count the number of divs here one two three and at fourth one we got our paragraph but if we compare this with the cadence blocks we have one two three four and our paragraph comes at fifth so every time cadence blocks is going to add an extra div structure in our html code so this is just a very small paragraph text imagine if we have a long page or we have designed a lot of elements on the page if i'm not wrong this is going to increase the dom size of our html page a lot so because every time it's going to add an extra div container on our html code for every block that we are going to add so for this reason again i would prefer to use spectra plugin now it's not like that cadence don't have anything good in it as i have already mentioned in the beginning of this video both of these plugins are really powerful and got some really amazing features now if you talk about cadence if we come back here in our page editor here if i click on this row layout here is the best part i really like about cadence if you go in advanced section and scroll down here i can add custom css to this particular row layout which means that now i can play around with position i can do custom styling in it and all that can be done right here in the setting panel which is a great feature if you are trying to design something custom and that reminds me here is a video you can watch where i have created more than 30 reusable blocks or i should say patterns now that you can use and all of them are created using cadence blocks so if you are working on custom designs i think custom css with cadence blocks is really powerful to use along with that here if we come back in the cadence settings here we can see we have an option for advanced headers and advanced navigation now this one is really useful if in case you are using a full site editing theme where it's really hard to create a custom header and especially navigation so if we open this in a new tab here we can create a custom header like i have already created one and if i go ahead and click on edit this is how you can define your header and this is like working on a gutenberg editor and you can add any blog here to create your custom header so this one is again a really powerful feature of cadence blocks and if you want you can click on this open visual builder to see how the header will look like and now we can add various blocks or elements here in these three rows so this one is really helpful if you are using a full site editing theme in the same way you can build your navigation menus as well so we can go ahead and create a new navigation and again we have an option to give it a name so i'll just give it a name here and i can go ahead and add my pages my custom links and post and define whether this menu will be vertical or horizontal again a very good feature from cadence blocks if you are using a full site editing theme so this is just my view on cadence blocks and spectra now in the comment section below do let us know which plugin do you use on your wordpress website are you using cadence blocks or are you using spectra i would love to hear your thoughts on this and if you have any questions regarding any one of them do let us know in the comment section below and i'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible and if you want to learn how you can use spectra plugin then make sure you watch this video on top and if you want to learn how to use cadence blocks to create the entire website you can watch this video at the bottom so that's it for this one and i'll catch you in the next video